Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. As always, I appreciate you guys so much for being here and giving me a safe space to create. So recently I went on a hike and I made a cute little picnic for me and my friend. And I thought that I would walk you through everything that I made. So this is the very first thing that I was super excited for. These are candied strawberries and candied apples. And pretty much all you're gonna need for this recipe is apples, strawberries, light corn syrup, sugar, and then some water. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so first thing is first, I don't like the leaves on here. I get so scared. So I'm just gonna cut those off. Okay, so there's my fruit. I also have these skewers to um, put them on and make it easier to dip them. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna transfer you guys over to the sink, or to the sink, to the stove, and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the rest of the recipe. So all I'm doing for this section is I mixed my corn syrup and my water together. As always, the measurements for the ingredients are going to be in the description so you guys aren't lost. But after that, I just bring it to a boil and put in the sugar. And that's what I'm doing here. And then you're going to want to bring this to a bubbly boil just to make sure that everything is incorporated. And then you're going to want to take it off the heat so it doesn't cook the fruit. So now that you've taken your mixture off of the heat, what you're going to start doing is dipping your strawberries and your apples. You can do this with grapes, bananas, oranges. You can honestly do this with everything. Um, but I only had some strawberries and apples around, which those are like one of my, like two of my favorite fruits to do this with. So definitely recommend that first before trying others. Now all I'm doing is just going through the motion of doing every single one of these. So we're going to go ahead and go through that. And then once you are done dipping all of your fruits and vegetables, you're going to want to leave it in the freezer for about six hours. I actually left it in the freezer overnight and for part of the day for these.
Alrighty guys, it is the next day. Um, I am currently getting ready to go to the gym. Um, but here they are. I did let mine sit overnight. So, I'm gonna go ahead, grab another skewer. And I am just gonna put them in here so I can just set them in the fridge. It comes as a little three piece pack. I got these a while ago and I'm absolutely in love with them. So, oh, these are absolutely frozen. Okay. So all I'm going to do here is place them So they should feel hard on the outside um, because they are coated with sugar. And then I know that there's going to be leftovers from this little snack pack thing. Um, oops. So I'm probably just gonna put the rest in like a baggie. Um, but I wanted to make this so Jacob could take it to work. And then it'll just screw on like that. So in all honesty, this was like a super, a super easy thing to make. And there's also leftovers. This is such like a good um, treat to bring like on hikes and things like that because not only is it super refreshing but it's super easy to make in all honesty so definitely recommend this this is a Japanese recipe um, that I caught up on um, when I first started wanting to go on picnics with Jacob and so I definitely recommend that you guys try this recipe while you're waiting for everything to boil together go ahead like comment and subscribe and if you're still unsure go ahead and take a bite